to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and flip through of the Good and the Beautiful High School Language Arts Year 2. Last year we used the Good and the Beautiful High School Language Arts Year 1 and I have a review for that on my channel. I'll go ahead and link that up above. Um, but we really, really enjoyed it and we were eagerly awaiting the release of High School Year 2. So if you've used um, Year 1, then there will be some components of this new release that you will not need to purchase. So I'll go ahead and go through those first. Um, first is the Grammar and Writing Guide. This is used for all four years. This is a separate purchase because you may not need it if you've used um, Year 1. Um, and then also the cards. There are geography cards poetry cards, and then also the um, Greek and Latin root cards. Uh, that comes in one set of high school cards for their language arts, and that would be something you also would already have if you'd already done year one. So what comes with year two are the 10 unit studies, and I'll go through and show you what they look like in just a minute. So these are consumable workbooks. And then you also will have the five novels. Now, this is also a separate purchase in case you wanted to try to find these somewhere else, but they also have the five novel set that you can um, purchase. The first novel that they read is Men of Iron by Howard Pyle during Unit 1 and 2. And then the second one is Harriet, the Moses of Her People. This novel is read um, during Units 3 and 4. The Sagebrush Surgeon is read during Unit 5 and 6. The Girl of the Limberlost is read during Units 7 and 8. And then this Christoph von Schmidt um, short story collection, this is read during Unit 9 and 10. So I also want to let you know that I've created a quick scope and sequence for The Good and the Beautiful Year 2. I will have that where you can download it if you choose to do that. And basically it just has what essays, other assignments, reading assignments, geography, memorization, and art is included in each unit. Just sort of an at-a-glance sheet. It helps me out a lot. So this is my at-a-glance um, scope and sequence for year two, just so that I can see what books and memorization and everything is needed. As far as organization of how we do these unit studies, what I do with Katie is I give her this folder. So it has the scope and sequence on the front. I put it in a folder like this, and then inside the folder, I have the unit study on one side, and on the other side, I have any cards that she needs. And Katie will take the folder, she has everything she needs, she can go and do the unit, and then she also, we also keep the novel that she's working on easily accessible as well. She keeps all of this in her language arts box. And she usually keeps her French notebook in here as well. So whenever she's ready to do language arts, she just grabs this. It's all together. Then when we switch to a new unit, I go ahead and replace the cards. Um, just so that we don't lose the cards since we're going to need them for four years. And change out the novel and all that kind of stuff. So that's how we organize um, using the Good and the Beautiful High School Year 2. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a flip through inside um, the unit studies. They're really well done. And I want you to see what they look like. This is an example of the Greek and Latin roots card for year one. So you have the root, the meaning, and then some example words. This is an example of a poetry card. It's got two poems on there. And then if you flip it over, it has like kind of fill in the blank where you can practice saying the words. All right, so this is unit one. So in the beginning of unit one, you have the course instructions to the parent, tells you how to do it. In every unit, you do have a grading sheet. So that's your rubric for grading the whole unit study. You have your spelling sentence dictation on um, the first page that it gives you the memorization that will be included in each unit. So in this one, um, you're gonna use the Greek and Latin root card for year two and then also poetry memorization. Then they usually will start out with an introduction to the book that they're reading. So this is gonna be Howard Pyle, and then um, a section on literature for um, in the Middle Ages. And there's some poetry included there. Then you go to vocabulary. Um, then there's some more practice here. Then there are some reading assignments um, to do, and that would be the novel that they're working on for the unit. 
Um, then there's some information about suspense, withholding information, basically writing styles. Then a lot of times they will have um, little practice drawing here. So try to draw the bell tower. So that's just kind of included within the unit. Um, and then they also talk about writing abstract versus descriptive writing. They usually have a large section on grammar usage and punctuation to practice, annotating and summarizing, editing practice, and then there's usually also going to be a section on art. So this is art in the Middle Ages. So there's a section to read through. Usually there's art that is included that they talk about. And then the Insight Journal, this is the writing assignment for Unit 1. So they give them three different prompts that they can do. And this is a 300 word essay. What I love about these essays is that the rubric is included. So it tells you exactly how to grade it, how many points everything is, and how many points you get. Okay, there's a section um, in pretty much every unit on commonly confused words. And then at the end of every unit, there's going to be a review section. Um, based on the vocabulary and the different things that they've learned, um, grammar, punctu punctuation, and usage, and things like that. It also includes information on the novel that they're reading, and this is just to prepare them for their exam. And then in most of the units, there's an optional art project. This one's on medieval lettering with watercolor practice. I also want to show you part of Unit 2 because Unit 1 did not include any geography. So I want to show you what the geography looks like. Okay, so they have on one side, they have a key. And on the other side is the practice side. And then they're also doing the South Pacific. And then um, there's going to be a section in the unit study on geography. So, so this section in Unit 2 is talking about the South Pacific, the Ring of Fire. There's some reading to do there. So that was a very brief flip through and unboxing of the Good and the Beautiful High School Year 2. We're very much looking forward to using it this year. We will have a review for you in the future once we've had a chance to use it and be more hands-on with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Love